in this lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff. Fourth of July by Soundgarden. Welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Let's get right into this. We are in a kind of modified drop C tuning. Going from low to high, we got C, F, C, and the high string is G. So grab your axe, tune up, and let's do this. Here's riff number one, nice and slow. So, so cool. Really sets just this awesome vibe. It's on the low string and the second string. These are two to the same thing, so we're playing octaves here. Twelfth frets on each, then it slides down to 11. Then we go 10, slide down to 7. Then we go 9, slide down to 7. And, like, when you get to the seventh frets, you like are pre, like you have a pre bend on it. So it's like. So it's almost like it sounds like the eighth fret, except you're bending the seventh fret. So from that bend, you, you release it. So it's like. And then slide up to the ninth fret. Then it's the same, 12 down to 11, 10 down to 7. Then it's 8, bend it up a half step so it sounds like the 9th fret. Then release it to the 8th fret so it's like... Then slide it down to the 7th fret just on the last, like the 8th, eighth, last 8th eighth note of the measure. So the full measure is going to go... And then it's back into 12, down to 11, 10 to 7. Then it's 9, slide down to 7 with that pre-bend, release, and back up to 9, just like before. So here it is, all the way through, up to speed. Riff number two, nice and slow. So it starts third fret, play that a few times, then we go down to the second fret. We give it a bend and release. So that's bend up a quarter step, hold it as you come back down to the second fret. So it's like. Then it's ones to open. 
that it's twos to threes. Last note we're going to play is on the third string, fourth fret, and we're going to do one of those bend release things. So, it's so from the second fret, then the riff starts over. So here it is. I'll play it a couple times up to speed. So yeah, every other time it ends, second fret, just kind of write it out. Really cool how they pair this kind of sludgy bass line with those, with the vocals. Uh, it's just amazing. Here's riff number three, nice and slow. It is essentially a variation on riff number two. So it starts out the same, three down to two with the bend, one to open. Next part is we play a couple open low strings and then a hammer on five to seven on the third string, then back to five. Then it's seven pull off to five, back to seven, third string. So that part is. Then we're still on the third string, fives down to four. Ones to two with the bend. So that part. Then it's open and then back up to the third string, seven to five. There's like a uh, grace note hammer on the first time. Five up to seven, seven pull off to five. So here's riff number two all the way through. So good. Before we get into the next riff, I'd just like to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world and makes all these lessons and all these tabs happen. Thank you so much. Here's riff number three, nice and slow. <laughs> this is so cool. Starts low string, seventh fret. Then we go down to the fifth fret. And it sounds like when we go down to this fifth fret, he adds this fourth fret on the third string. So it's, it's really gnarly. Then it's five, four. Then we go third fret, low string, bend and release. Then we're playing those octaves again, low string, fifth fret, third string, fifth fret. And we do a bend release and then a bend again. From there we go 10th fret, 3rd string, and we go bend release. So far here's what we have. Then, 
Next part starts the same. Then release on the third fret again. Then it's bend, release on the seventh fret, third string. Bend, release on the fifth fret. So the second part goes. That's awesome. Here it is all the way through full speed. I can't think of another bass line that I've played anywhere close to this thing, and somehow this still fits perfectly with the song. So cool. All right, let's check out the outro at full speed, but before we do, thanks for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This way YouTube will show this thing to more fans of Soundgarden, just like we are. And if you'd like to further support the Beholden to the Riff community, check out the Beholden to the Riff Patreon page.